Hi, Dan from Gear Diary here. Due to a combination of genetics, temperament, my work, and arthritis medication, it came as no surprise when I developed a high blood pressure a couple of years ago. Um, that meant I had to go out and pick up one of these jobs and, and start monitoring my blood pressure until it got uh, under control, which thankfully it, it pretty much is now. And, and it works fine. It works absolutely fine. And I would actually take my readings morning and night and I would uh, record them on, on my iPhone. And it worked, it worked just great. But I was really excited to find out that the iPhone and the iPod Touch and the iPad were going to start working directly with accessories. We've seen a lot of alarm clocks that do that. Now uh, I have a chance to take a look at this. This is the Wythings blood pressure monitor. Um, and it actually works with either the iPhone or the iPad. It actually does an app that'll download to it and you can take it from there and you can actually monitor yourself using, using this. So I have not opened it up yet. I have not downloaded the app. I don't know much about it. I thought we would do it on camera and take a look together. Okay, so let's uh, take it out of the box and let's see what's in here. So we're looking at the Wythings, the blood, smart blood pressure monitor. And if we open the box, nice heavy box. Inside you'll see the pressure cuff. That's the pressure cuff, let's put it aside, and an instruction book. That's it, just uh, the instruction book and the cuff. So let's throw the box out of the way. Let's slip this protective dust cover off of it. And what you see is, if what's familiar to anybody who's ever used a blood pressure cuff, what you see is the actual blood pressure cuff with the electronics right here. And if we unwrap this, you get your ubiquitous iPod, iPod Touch connector. So the, uh, the blood pressure cuff goes around the arm, obviously. Let's just fire it up in a second. Okay, so I've actually not used this yet, but uh, what I read was that you take the iPad and you plug in the blood pressure monitor, which we're doing right now, and then it gives an indication that the app is not installed. Okay, so the iPad app is installed, the account is created, when you unlock the iPad, you now get some instructions. It tells you how to do things. We're gonna close that. And now it's showing my name and the information. I haven't done anything yet. So I'm gonna take the blood pressure cuff and take this, gonna put it on my arm like so, rest my arm. And then it's really difficult because it says start, so start. and it's inflating. There are four small batteries in the uh, large white cylinder. And it's now measuring, it's coming down. One twenty-eight over eighty-five. Blood pressure of seventy-nine, which is actually pretty good. Uh, you can see the battery here. Um, this is the indicator showing what's happening. Let's just hit it one more time. Let's just over here. You can actually see auto mode. In automatic mode, the device takes three consecutive readings and calculates the average. So let's do automatic mode. And so it averaged it out. So that's how you know this will do. And then uh, now that it's done, I'll just press the button done, and it now gives me the reading. And then as I take more readings, it'll actually you know give me a record of how my blood pressure is um, when I check it morning and evening going forward. Um, so this is the uh, Whiting's the Smart Blood Pressure Monitor for iOS devices. Uh, it's a little over a hundred dollars. 
It, it takes blood pressure, it tracks your blood pressure, it lets you then send it and share it to whoever you want. Really nice, nice uh, additional use for your iOS device. This is Dan for Gear Diary. Thanks for watching.